What are the best websites for freelance translation jobs? Coming up. Hello and welcome back to the Freelanceverse. Happy New Year everyone. Uh, the first video back I thought it has to be a big one. And in fact it is so big that it has to be split in two videos. So you get the two-parter. First video this Monday, the next one next Monday. A lot of you guys always ask me in the comments or also on LinkedIn, where do you find jobs? What are the best translation gig websites? Um, there is no jobs out there. What can I do to get into it? So I thought once and for all, I compile every single freelance translation job website that I know that I've heard of that I know that is not currently out of like members because I know there are a few that don't take anyone on at the moment and I didn't include them. So I have 40 of them, 20 I will share today, 20 next week. And I hope with this list, no one can ever tell me again that there is nothing out there that you don't know how to start. Because if you take your time and you go through all of these 40, there is no way you wouldn't find at least something to, to kick off your career with, right? So uh, this should be like an ultimate list. They are ordered alphabetically, so I'll start with A today. I will be on my screen, show you the website, how to sign up. I have to go quite quickly, of course, because I have 20 today to go through. Uh, so some of them I will not go into detail. I will just show you where to go, how to sign up, and that's it. Hope you enjoy. All right, let's go. By the way, just before I get into it, I want to make sure to mention that I don't vouch for any of these sites. Most of them I haven't tried out myself. This is just for you to like do your own research, uh, inspiration, motivation to go for it. Uh, but yeah, no vouching. So the first one is Aclaro, aclaro.com. It's a website where uh, a company basically built up a huge agency. They match freelancers to their tr translation jobs. If you go on aclaro.com, you can go on, this, uh, on these three stripes up here on the left. You can click on translated jobs. And as you can see, there's a big list with uh, languages, Chinese, Danish, French, German, uh, Korean. Just check if they look for something that you could provide and it might be a good option. Next up the list is Andovar, andovar.com, grow your world. So this is like a, a website for translating websites, apps, media, and uh, yeah, more like tech oriented things. Uh, very interesting uh, client opportunities they have. If you want to sign up here, you have to scroll all the way down, uh, click on careers, and then this, this uh, window will open and our careers and here you can choose, you know, freelance translators, voice talents, freelance subtitles, etc. Just click on the one you want and then after the website is quite slow, but after a while you will get a form where you can fill in all your information. Uh, as you can see here, just fill everything in and they might get back to you. Next one is one you probably heard of. It's called Appen. If you go to appen.com slash jobs, uh, you find the projects and the micro tasks that you can do. It's kind of a Fiverr type of site, so uh, probably not the best prices, but if you can use it to get into the industry, why not? Uh, probably not for long term, but it's good to give it a try for sure. Next up is Blend, getblend.com. That's quite an interesting one because they used to be one hour translation, as you can see, uh, by the makers of one hour translation. If you have seen my video about that, I haven't given it the best review. And uh, yeah, they actually got in touch with me to talk about that, but yeah, that's another story. Anyways, they rebranded, they're now Blend. So uh, yeah, why not give it a try? I haven't tried out Blend. If you go on getblend.com slash online uh, hyphen translation, you get to this site. Uh, if you click on freelancers, this window will open and here you can uh, join as a talent and then you have to create an account, pass an exam, receive a certification, start working, get paid. So it's quite a long process. If you get through this and if they actually need you, because that was the problem for me, they didn't need any German translators. But if they do, uh, it's, a, it's a good resource. All right, next one is an interesting one, Bureau Works. I've never worked with them, but I've, I've seen them on LinkedIn all the time. So if you go, I actually didn't know that they offer jobs. I thought it's just like a hub for translators. But if you go on there and then you scroll all the way down, uh, bottom left, you see careers for translators. And here you can actually sign up, sign me up. And then, you know, sign up online, survive the talent selection process, uh, take jobs in Bureau Works, and then you get paid. So. Might be a good option to try out, why not? Next up is CSC Translation. It looks to be like a like kind of a, a traditional uh, online agency that, that you can just register with. So it's always uh, worth to give it a try. Uh, on the top right here, you have translators and then you can click register and you can actually uh, fill in all the forms. And I've heard some good things about them. So uh, why not give it a try? I, th I think they're quite, uh, 
easy to work with and not complicated to sign up. It's always worth to do it. The next two, I don't need to go uh, very much into it. You, got, you all know Fiverr and Freelancer.com. Uh, these have to be on the list, of course. I'm not the biggest fan of them. Uh, I know that there are people who uh, make a good living, like a uh, very decent living with, with them, but translation on these places seems to be a bit uh, badly paid. But yeah, check it out. Why not? I made, I made a video about Fiverr and I made like three euros, so more or less five dollars in a week. Uh, that is of course scal scalable, no, no, uh, no question about that. The freelancer.com video is actually in progress and this will come out in January probably, so uh, stay tuned for that. I'm very interested to see how this one is going. Uh, these are both just uh, gig websites where, where any kind of freelancer can do any kind of jobs on there. Number nine, almost halfway, we have Gengo. Gengo.com, uh, another I think blend uh, company. If I'm not mistaken, professional translation within hours. Um, very good client resume if they if they are correct what they uh, mention here, but I assume they are. Uh, if you want to join them, you go all the way down. Oh, by the way, they have like, two tiers. So if you make it to the advanced category, you actually make kind of a decent uh, amount of money per word. Of course, not all of this goes to the freelancer. Probably you get like, I don't know, eight, nine cents for it. Anyways, it's okay to start out. Uh, if you want to get in touch with them, go all the way down, community, click become a translator and I assume um, join our translation team so you can click here, become a translator and then you can sign up another form. Of course, when you start out, there's a lot of form signing and uh, yeah, but you just have to go through it. Oh, it's a Lionbridge company, not a blend company, sorry. All right, uh, that's Genko.com for you. Next up is a very niche one. I don't know many people know about this. It's globalink.com. Uh, Oh, globalinktranslations.com, sorry. Did they change that? Oh, I'm not sure. I, I used to work with them at the very beginning, so uh, yeah, why not give it a try? Uh, if you go work with us on the website, you can just get in touch with them. Uh, they are looking for translators, reviewers, etc. So you just need to call them or, or email them or whatever. Um, nice company i haven't worked with them in years of course but uh if they still act if they still uh, if they still do business like they used to it's a good one to to reach out to by the way of course all of these links are down in the description you don't need to write everything down uh, just scroll down and you will see them next up is guru.com is another uh, freelancers website like fiverr freelancer etc writing and translation has its own category and I think it's a bit better paid than the other ones because it's not that well known and it's kind of still a bit niche. Um, well, yeah, there are 100,000 freelancers, freelance translations on here. And, uh, you know, people make like 50k a year, 20k a year, 18k a year. So, yeah, 300,000 a year, top guru assistance. Okay, yeah. there's potential here. Check it out. I haven't used it myself, but it seems like a nice site. All right, next up is a big jump. We go from G all the way to L, languagesunlimited.com. Uh, it's an American company that works with the ATA, apparently. Um, notable clients, as always, very high profile. Uh, mostly US uh, based. So if you are an, uh, an American translator, this might be uh, great for you to get into it. If you click on recruitment up here, uh, there will be another form. They say they're always looking for interpreters and translators. So just fill this in, all your information uh, and register and they make it back to you. languagesunlimited.com Next up, linguist.com slash become a translator hyphenated. Uh, if you get here, I think that's actually an agency, linguist.com. Not, not really. It's another like, it's, it's a weird in between between agency and like gig website, you know. You're not directly in contact with the end client, I guess that's the difference. So here you actually get in touch with a, with a company, linguist.com. Uh, your profile, they mention what they need and your qualifications. And then you can actually just email them to the vendor at linguist.com email address with your CV. So they prefer to have CVs instead of uh, a platform, uh, like a, a form to fill in. Uh, just make sure to keep it. I actually made a video about cover emails. Uh, make sure to watch this first before you get in touch with them because it's important what you write here if it's not in form. Uh, they are in Boston, so another US company, another great one for my US watchers. 
Then of course, when we are at L, we can't dismiss LinkedIn. Uh, it's not technically a, web, uh, a gig website, a job website, but it's, it's unbeaten in terms of um, <laughs> freelancer positioning. Uh, so if you are not on LinkedIn, if you don't use it, make sure you do get on that. It's amazing also for jobs. Even if I simply type in the search bar freelance translator, and then I, even the posts are interesting, but when I then click on jobs, and I type in worldwide or remote in the in the location here, then you see hundreds of things come up where you can just yeah take a look. Not all of these are of course useful. I mean all these app and things they're usually not really, but there there can be you know there are 40 pages now with just stuff. So you just go through it and, and check them out and apply if you want to. Uh, definitely a great resource LinkedIn, not only for jobs but also for your uh, network. Next up is a big big player in the language industry, Lionbridge. Uh, we already met them earlier for Gengo. They were also sponsoring, so this one is their own career page. Uh, it's quite a long link. I'm going to post it down below. Here you can see there are actually positions written out. They are in freelance translation. Uh, the location doesn't really matter usually, so uh, just check it out if it works for you. English to Czech, English to Danish, uh, English to French, English to Icelandic. Yeah, a lot of things here, so uh, check it out, see if something is there for you. You can also sign up in their pool uh, as a translator, but then you're not guaranteed jobs. I think it's better to go for this one if you find one that works for you. This is number 16, motaword.com. I mentioned this before on the channel. It's a, it's a nice platform for, for freelance translators. This is really about translation and editing in general, um, specifically. Uh, if you want to sign up with Motaword, you go all the way down. For translators, you register, or for dev developers if you are one, but this video is specifically for translation gigs. So make sure you, you register. And as you can see, also customers can register and then the site matches the two. If you click on register, there's another page explaining everything. And then down here, you can click on become a Motta Word translator. And then I have to go through a lot of uh, legalese and a lot of forms, but uh, it might as well be worth it. Next up is the company by the nice name of Multilingual Connections. Multilingualconnections.com. I also worked with them in the beginning, I think, a few jobs. Um, yeah, if you want to sign up with them, you go on About Us and then Careers. And then you see freelance opportunities. Our freelance linguists work remotely, are paid per project and choose which projects to accept. You can also join the in-house team, but this video is for this one. So linguist application, you click on it and there will be, you guessed it, another form. A very short one actually, but maybe, oh, there are three pages of it, so yeah. Another form to go through it. And we arrived at P, People Per Hour is another website like Fiverr, like Gupwork, all of these things where you can just uh, hire a freelancer for a, for a specific project. I'm not gonna go into this one, uh, it's quite straightforward, but check it out for sure. I haven't used it, I will definitely make a video at some point this year about uh, translating on uh, a week uh, on people per hour. So I want to keep this as fresh as possible and not get into it. All right, the penultimate one for this week is called protranslate.net, a nice uh, website, find translation jobs on. As you can see, plus 33, that seems to be a French website, a French company. I already have the application website in here. I'm gonna post it down below. You can then apply now as a translator application. And there will be another form, register as a translator, and they it's quite short actually, and they might get back to you. Make sure to really specify your speci specialization here if they ask like this. And number 20, the last one for today, what else could it be when we are at P, then pros.com. Uh, pros.com is definitely the number one uh, website in translation. You have to go to it if you if you start, there's no way around it. There are so many things you can do on pros.com, not only find jobs, but of course, if you go to the browse jobs category, there are a lot of jobs there that fit your um, pre preset um, settings, you know, so definitely a page to, to be on, also for the training, also for the community, for the networking, etc. There you go, a lot of information, I know. I hope I managed to cut this down into a sizable video. Next part is part two with another 20 websites. So this ultimate guide to freelance translation websites should really uh, give you some kind of success, right? I hope uh, that you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of work, but I think it's worth it. I think something like this needs to exist on the internet so people can come back to it and profit from it. Be creative, be consistent, be persistent as well. And I see you next week with uh, part two. Yeah, never done a part two on this channel, but see you there.